5G networks are going to be very different. They are going to come up with so many different service verticals. A very very efficient control of the network is required. Hence, we have implemented, we have introduced something called as 5G Meno, which is nothing but called as management and network orchestration. This is going to be way more different than the uh, than how the network were managed in 4G and the previous generation. It is going to be in a pow powered by machine learning and artificial intelligence and lot of other algorithms. It has to be very efficient compared to the previous generation. So in this particular session, we talked about we talk about 5G Meno, which is management and network orchestration. My name is Sanjay Kumar. My name is Sanjay Kumar, and I am from NanoCell Networks. Now. We have so many different service verticals here. We have EMBB, we have URLCC, we have MMTC. EMBB, which typically talks about much higher data rates, the peak data rates of 20 Gbps. URLCC talks about ultra reliability and low latencies, latencies in tunes of 1 millisecond. And we talk about MMTC, which require 10 days to the power 6 subscriber, 1 million subscriber per square kilometer where we plan to connect billions of sensors billions of devices to the network and in that scenario what we are going to have is we need to have at least 1 million subscriber per square kilometer so to have all these network efficient so all these different service verticals like EMBP, URLCC, MMTC requires a completely different network shift in the network which is typically supported by so we have these three different applications EMBB, MMTC and these are not the applications actually but the service verticals and they are providing different kind of services just to take an example EMBB talks about high data rate at the rate of 20 Gbps the MMTC talks about large number of devices 10 is to the power 6 devices per square kilometer and URLCC talks about low latencies which is less than one millisecond kind of latencies to achieve all these things we have to implement something called a slicing where every all the net service verticals can be separated by virtual networks which is implemented over the same physical network and typically this this concept is called a slicing in 5g network so all the service verticals are typically defined as slices and every slices every slice is isolated from other slices so they have end-to-end -end dedicated resources available for one particular slice or i'll say one particular service verticals however that will require a lot of coordination in the radio access network lot of coordination in the transport network and lot of coordination in core network as well so we need to have a management and network orchestration in place which can efficiently manage all these things here to understand this so we will have a radio network and to support that radio network to manage that radio network we will have radio network orchestration we will have transport network and on top of this we have transport network orchestration and the core network and on top of this we have core network orchestration and all these things will be managed by a centralized menu which is nothing but slice management or the management and network orchestration. If you look at the architecture of uh, Mano, this is how it looks like. So at the lowest layer, what we have is the physical infrastructure, the physical infrastructure. And on top of this, we have a virtualization layer. And all these things are managed by something called as virtualization infrastructure managers, which are typically called as VIMS. So they are called as VIMS. Or virtualization infrastructure manager however all those virtualization infrastructure virtualized infrastructure can be created into some kind of VNFs virtual network function and on top of this we have some kind of element management systems or element management servers they are typically used for managing one particular VNFs so all the VNFs are managed by something called as VNF managers so how these VNFs are created how they are uh, maintain and how they are terminated everything is done by VNF manager on top of this on top of VNF manager we have something called the orchestrator the orchestrator is the end-to-end -end entity which is managing the complete underlying network infrastructure and which is the major component of menu management and network orchestration and however on this top of this menu we have something setting up 
sitting in which is called as OSS and BSS which is nothing but connects these network to the BSS kind of application where all the network infrastructure can be translated into some kind of services. So this is the typical ETS menu architecture from European Telecommunication Standard Institute and this is the typical network architecture what you also see whenever people talk about NFE network function virtualization. So menu more or less follows the similar kind of uh, architecture similar kind of reference architecture what we use for NFE network function virtualization. I, uh, this is just a basic example basic idea about net management and network orchestration however it is going to be powered by artificial intelligence machine learning real-time monitoring of the network how the network real-time monitoring so it is going to do real-time control of the network real the example of this we used to call this as F caps fault management configuration management accounting performance and security management so we have some function similar to this in network orchestration and mostly it will be powered by automation so it is nothing but taking automation to the whole new level that is where your menu plays a important play, plays an important role that's all about this video if you liked our video please like and subscribe our channel if you want to share more information please visit www.nanocellnetworks.com or feel free to email us at info at the rate nanocellnetworks.com Thank you very much and hope to see you again on this particular channel.